Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna look at the best stocks to buy now because the markets are exploding up. If you have not watched this, take a look at the NASDAQ. Since the beginning of this year, we're talking January 1st, 13.76 and it looks like it's going to continue at least in the near term and some of the stocks that make that up as well as some of the s p and dow are just loving it so if you're tired of chasing the crumbs you want the whole loaf take a look at this video because uh, I think you're going to like what I got for you. I went out and picked up five fantastic plays that I think are moving in the right direction. In other words, once we get through the rest of 2023, I would expect these stocks to be leaders and, of course, should be outperforming the market as we get there. And let's start with uh, making sure you take advantage of the Moomoo link down below. If you have it in the description, there's a link, $100 deposit, gets you five free stocks worth up to 10 grand, 1,000 gets you 15 worth up to 30. Take advantage of that. And they do got the free stock screener. Come on over to the Patreon as well. Take your investing to the next level. See what stocks are absolutely crushing it and which ones are not. You can come over and check that out and see the private Discord, like I said, all the portfolios and the members only videos. Now, as we get into that, and that link is in the description, I want to start with the first stock. Let's get out there. This had big news coming out. And Meta, as we take a look at Meta and get the technical difficulties out of the way, 153.12. And looks like uh, it's going to be running up because you can see in the after hours yesterday that it absolutely crushed it. And it was up to 182.99. What's going on with Meta, a.k.a. Facebook? Well, they've been cutting and dicing and trimming expenses, and it came in fantastic. So as they move forward and they have tightened that belt, I would expect that to continue. They were they were burning through a lot of cash in their R&D and everything they were doing. They've tightened the belt. They have let go of a lot of people. I think they're going to continue to let go of some people as well. And usually I know somebody wrote me and said, aren't they letting go of a lot of people? Isn't that bad? No, Wall Street sees that as a positive because, as they're saying, they like to trim the fat and run as a lean, mean fighting machine. And so they're getting rewarded and they're getting rewarded big time. And so more customers were using the platform than was expected. So a lot of good news came out for Meta. Meta continues to do it. And when you take a look at their chart, take a look at this chart now. That's year to date. And you're like, hey, Mo, that just thing looks golden. Yeah, of course it does. But look. Over the last year, this thing collapsed down. And so when you look at this and you think, how high could it go? If it somehow got back up to 350, that gives you that run over 100% possibility. I don't see it getting up here very quickly, but I do see it getting between 200 and 250 uh, within this year, I would think. And as we wait for that, and you wonder what Wall Street's thinking, I'm gonna put the price prediction from Wall Street at the end of this video. Now, as we look at the next best stock to buy now, of course, I got to throw out there Google. This is Alphabet. Alphabet, you know, they own YouTube, Google, and they do, I'm sure, they are working on their own AI for their search and everything else. I know everybody's talking about this chat GPT. Do not, do not count Google out. As we look at this, you can see that year to date, 13.08%. Nice rise, and I would believe this to continue on. Now, I have to say that we know a lot of advertising. They had Facebook come out and their numbers were better than expected. So could Google's numbers be better than expected? Possibly. And I've always said this, the, I felt like the advertising revenue would still be decent for Q4 of 2022. But as we move into the middle of 2023, that's when the numbers are going to start to sag. And I would expect a lot of the advertising revenue to dry up. I didn't think it was quite you know, gone last year at the end of the year. You can still see a strong demand out there. And that is reflected in Facebook's number. I would not be surprised to see it reflected in Alphabet's number as well. But with that being said, uh, I'm not going to be shocked if it's up or down because we're seeing some hit it, some miss. And so at this time, though, and I look at this company and I think of the future and the AI and the integrating it into the chat, and we know they're the leaders, 
I think they have a strong possibility of coming out and doing some amazing things moving forward, and it could be a game changer. So I still like Google. Obviously, we're on YouTube right now, aren't we? And that is the name of the game, and I think they're going to be the leaders there. So I have them as a number two in there. And the number three, as we look at it, Apple. If you believe Apple is done, if you believe Apple can't do anything or whatever you believe it's going to happen, uh, take a look at this. Apple 145.43. And this is, somebody asked me, where do you think it's going to go? Right now, you can see it's up 16.28% for this year. But if you go to the five-year chart on this thing, you can see we had that nice little top out. And it's kind of been sideways. I like this thing. I think it has a big moat around it. I think it's hard for competitors to come in there and be able to try to take them down. And I would believe that there is a good possibility, depending on what happens in the economy, that if we avoid a recession, this gets to 200. If we hit a recession, well, then obviously a lot of the stocks are going to come down. But I don't think it's going to be a super major recession. I think it would be of the minor to middle variety. And with that being said, I think this would be able to weather it quite well. Uh, as we move forward, the next of the best stocks to buy now, I have NVIDIA. And like I said, the AI is a big component. You're hearing a lot of talk of it out there and you continue to see, uh, I've said it a lot of times, NVIDIA is gonna be one of the leaders in AI. And now that you're seeing that attention, 46.3% up and it continues to give us opportunities. And uh, you can see year over the last year though, it is starting to recover off of these, these lows. And so you're seeing that. Now the question becomes, is this too much? Was it too much of a run this year? We're not sure. We're going to wait and see how it all plays out. So if you're looking to hold something for 10 years, more, five years, I think this is the kind of company that would make my list. Now, the next one, this surprises some people and for some it does not, but uh, I've, I've talked about this when everyone else was hating and it is Netflix. I believe Netflix gives us a great opportunity long-term and I know they're switching some things up, the ad revenue, all this stuff. So even though it had a big drop, I thought that this one could rally and it has. When it dropped down, I said, look, Netflix, they're gonna switch over to the ad-based tiers. They have, they're gonna get rid of the password sharing. This is the kind of company you wanna look at and it's done well since then. Now, what's Wall Street think of all this? Where does Wall Street see these stocks going? Because you know, you got me out here talking my stuff, but what do they think? Meta, Facebook, AKA Facebook, they see this thing going up about 6.62%. That's it, not 25%, not, but look, look at this. They're starting to change it up. You're starting to see the, and I always say this, on the bear market, it keeps coming down, 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 then it goes up. Just like everyone else, the numbers change, data changes, expenses change, and when they do, they can re-evaluate. And I'm gonna tell you this, this is gonna be higher. So even though it says 6.62% now, trust me, it will be higher. And this is from Tip Ranks. They put everything together from Wall Street, link in the description. Now, as we move into Google, AKA Alphabet here, you can see they had this at about a 19.43% upside potential. We'll see where that goes. Like I said, we have to watch the advertising revenue. They have Apple set 19.28%. So they're both about 20% up over the next 12 months, according to uh, Wall Street, and I'm not going to be surprised to see that start to move up if the market continues its run. 0.52% uh, for NVIDIA. Not much. They're saying basically going to be flat by the end of the year, the next 12 months. <clears throat> not sure about that, especially with all the attention being paid to AI. Uh, Netflix, down 4.91. They expect this to drop from where it's at now. I do not. I believe they're going to surprise some people. The numbers will come in better than expected. So once you put this all together and you go out and you do your due diligence and you want to see what's going on, remember the Fed did their thing, raised it by a quarter of a point. We're expecting another quarter of a point in the March meeting. And I am also going to guess that we're going to see a lot of different roller coaster type days out there all the way through 2023 until we hit a capitulation. And that could go both ways. Like I said, I do expect to see uh, some positive days out there, two, 3% up in the markets and some negative days, depending on who reports what. But today I expect to see a few of these running up. Uh, we had some good reports yesterday and I think that'll carry on and rub off on a few of these other tech plays. So keeping my eye on everything, we'll see where it goes. And of course, uh, as the market continues to rally up and we see these highs off of these lows, 
you got to ask yourself, boy, how high can it go? So if you haven't done it, take advantage of the free stocks down below from Weeble. All you got to do is put 100 bucks in and you'll get up to 12 free stocks worth up to 30,600 and Moomoo. All you got to do is click down and put 100 bucks in. You'll get five stocks worth up to 10 grand, a free stock screener, a lot of things. So take advantage of both of them. Come on over to the Patreon. Take your investing to the next level and enjoy. Uh, we got the portfolios, the Discord, the pri private videos. It's a good place to go. Now, that's all I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.